Here we are. Welcome to Blowing Up. Back again for no apparent reason. You love him. It's... You didn't ask for it. <laughs> but at the same time, you did. Oh, no. You guys, this is the third test. The first time is funny. Second time, silly. And this is the third time. This potentially could be the spanking of it all. And I'm worried. <laughs> the, the spanking. No, no, no. Third time's a charm, Clay. You, look, you've read the comments. You've seen what the people are saying. The streets are talking, and they're talking about Clay. The streets are talking over five, ten. We're talking 15 people have said, wow, <laughs> he was okay. He was hey, good. Now, that's the, a third of our audience. Watch your mouth. <laughs> sorry. The other two-thirds hate me. Um, do the readers like it when I drink, like, a Diet Coke into the mic, or is that something I do off mic? Our listeners are very particular. Drinking is okay. Chewing is not. Eating chips, Caroline. Yeah, chips is gross. One time, Clay, we did a <laughs> we did a um, pumpkin spice tasting. Uh, we, we I went to Target and bought everything pumpkin spice I could find. Okay, it was like Cheerios, Oreos, like it was that filthy. stuff was in my trunk for three years, by the way, <laughs> that, because that, of you. And that's my wow. problem. How? <laughs> How come you haven't done any tasting things since I have started showing up without you asking for no reason? Well, this is on Zoom. (laughs) Wait. Oh yeah, the the Noom of it all. Okay. Oh yeah, Noom said we couldn't. Your Noom was very clear with me. (laughs) I know. I did give it your information, and that's not a joke. I did. I gave it all of my contacts information. (laughs) That was part of a trust building exercise I'm doing with Noom. Noom would like to access your camera. What? Very that. Uh, well, we're so happy you're back, obviously. I'm thrilled to be here. Same. <laughs> Esther, why are you so sad? Esther, what's going on? I thought we had such a good day yesterday. We did. Clayton and I had a, an amazing glam day. He put a blue wig on me. And Caroline, I'm I'm meant to have neon blue hair. Do, do you agree? You looked amazing. I was it's, very into what you were serving up. She let me, she says, you know, she doesn't let me use hairspray or any products. That being said, she does allow me to use industrial grade glue to glue a wig down to her forehead. That she's fine with. Esther's like, bring out the Gorilla Glue. <laughs> very that. Um, no, but we actually did, es- something else big happened. Esther came to my house for the first time and all of our friendship, she's never been at my place. I and wasn't allowed by, by the way. I was scared for her to see my place because I'm sure that lots of listeners are suffering from this too, but I do have an affliction known as popcorn ceilings. <laughs> I was going to say. And that's, that's something I really, really have a hard time with, especially because that's the first thing you do see when you wake up. So it's like, I can't <laughs> catch a break the second that I'm in conscious, like consciousness. It's like, ah, like, oh no, it's popcorn ceiling. It's like, what so. did I do wrong in my life to this moment have popcorn ceilings? Like, where did I go wrong? I know I work so hard and I have popcorn so, ceilings. It's, I really want to validate Clayton's reality, but it's really hard for me because I just don't think popcorn ceilings are as bad as he does. Like, I don't understand. In well, fact, I yeah. told him I went to my old apartment this week and I just happened to look up and I was like, oh, that whole time there was popcorn ceiling here. Didn't notice, didn't care. Wait, Esther, Wouldn't call. You mentioned this. What do you mean you went to your old apartment? Do you still have it? Like Carrie and Sex in the City? Do you still have your old place? My unwell former roommate still lives there. No. And I'm allowed in and out as I please whenever. So You still I, have squatters' had... rights? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still paying rent? No. no, no. She's paying Esther rent. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm off the lease. Um, but... I was by Runyon Canyon and I had to pee, so I stopped in and I had some tax stuff. Oh, it's to really pick up. more of a bathroom than anything else. <laughs> it's a oh toilet. It's a central... Wait, that actually is. Smart. I would keep apartments all over the city to go to the bathroom. Can you hear my dog chewing on the bone? She's cho- no. choosing right now to do it. Okay, then chew away. You're fine. Love you. <laughs> I can hear the echo, a reverberation against your popcorn ceilings, though. That's just <laughs> driving me absolutely crazy. I think, Clay, the issue is that you spend all this time doing celebrity hair. So you're in these lofted, yes. high ceilinged homes, and then you Thank come home, you. and it's like your low ceiling, you know. It's Van very skewed. It's very skewed, and I will say there is a lot of people in my industry who like 
when you're around people and at a certain point when you're working with someone, you sort of become a peer with them, but it's like, actually these people are millionaires. And just because they have a $10,000 bag, like you can't afford one. And I have so many friends that do this, that are spending all this money on clothes and bags. And it's like, honey, like, yeah, we were, these are our coworkers, but our coworkers are making millions of dollars more than us. We actually can't afford that. That's hard. I I feel like I dealt with that a lot too. First moving to LA and you meet like all these rich people and that can really, that's like hard. Like there's something too about, I've noticed like everywhere I look, there's a Tesla and it's like, I, I don't know. Like there's just something about being surrounded by really rich people. Well, the cars. Clay and I have been dealing with this since, you know. Yeah, you guys are from here. Thank you. Very that. This has been I've had to work my whole life to get over this. I was a scholarship kid at private school in Sherman Oaks. And my first car was a an old Mercedes that my mom bought at a police auction. It and had, honestly, wait, that's cool though. An old Mercedes is cool, no? So cool. And I kind of wish I still had it, but it was such a piece of shit. It mm. barely ran. It would like leak oil. It didn't have AC or heat, which is like not that big of a deal. But then in the summer when I would be driving around with the windows down, strange men would sometimes accost me through the open window. Not like sexy men, like gross, yeah, yeah, yeah. bad stre- street Street men, yeah. That's unfortunately that is, Clay's, that's, that is Clay's type. That is, <laughs> that's was, one of my types. <laughs> my car was literally from a police auction. It was a piece of shit. And girls in my grade got G-Wagons when they were 16. Oh, Disgusting. oh, Hummers. Hummers were big when I went like to high school. Like there was literally like you would see there would be at least one Hummer in every row. See, I had the experience of like I grew up and my parents did have money, like a lot of money when I was really little. But they kind of lost it all by the time I was in high school. He's so, not lying. It they sounds made up, but it's real. <laughs> no, it's, I'm pretty sure that like the guy who did like my dad's taxes is in jail now. Like it's not great That's situation. So, sad. so I sort of saw both sides of it, and it was like by the time I was in high school, when you or even late middle school, when you really do care and compare and contrast, it was like, oh no, I'm in a one. And by the way, so much privilege. I still had so much privilege, but when you're with kids who are like well we fly private like what do you mean like (gasps) there's other people on the plane with you and i'm like uh i remember like you know it just took me so long because to feel good about myself and feel proud like i had divorced parents my dad lived in this townhouse that was like not like (laughs) the way you said townhouse made me like i'm sorry but the way you said townhouse it was hard for you to say babe i live next to the mall it was Uh i think mall subsidized housing and, you know, like, my dad was a single dad. We had, like, a leather couch from Overstock.com. Like, yeah. We had, like, I an love Indiana... Overstock.com. What do you... No shade to Overstock.com. But... <laughs> yeah, they are a proud sponsor. And that couch is available now for repurpose. My mom, God bless her, is, I would say, I would say she's a full-blown hoarder. God bless her. I love her mm. so much. My mom has hoarding issues really bad, too. We'll have to discuss this. And I would go to kids' houses, and it was, like, interior designed, like, immaculate reality show house and i just mm-hmm. couldn't believe it it made me feel like <sighs> such shit and even like we wore uniforms but somehow girls could look rich in a uniform oh of course it was like their highlights was it, it tailored was, or some shit they would get him tailored there would be like the big thing was remember in the early aughts pulling your undershirt under like having exposed undershirt oh bottom? hello like layers of like little wife beaters and chrome hearts and all of that stuff it was stacking. all about having your yeah. james purse wife beater that had a little special tag on it there were all these little just cl- there there was a lot of micro flexes. like little um micro wealth flexes micro flexes almost <laughs> See, Wait, my... did you go to an all-girls school, Caroline? No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had absolutely zero heterosexual males in my life, so I might as well have gone to a... No, but it it was a lot. It, it See, took there me were... a long time to feel, like, very good and confident about myself and not care about, like, material things. I to know. This day, I, I... Said, to this day, look at me. I'm hosting a... Skincare, <laughs> beauty podcast, clearly I, I've totally put that material and stuff like that. <laughs> See, I don't really care about things so much. It's more just like, again, it is when I'm going, and my also my job is I'm in people's homes every day. So I don't really care about cars. I don't really care about clothes. I don't care about that stuff. But like when I am seeing these beautiful homes and then I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I live like in a duplex in Sherman Oaks. Like, uh, Sounds you nice. know, it's Esther. How was it? You saw it. His place is so nice. It like it, it's just 
it's very nice and it's it's where i would live if i didn't have a fiance who like made a good living like i, I would don't you just... Esther does this thing to like make her seem like one of the people but she owns a house i know <laughs> i of, like, don't of, like what she where she would live if she were not living i'm like where listen she does if live. i were born in a different country and i were a different person like yes of course i'd be on the streets if i were you guys, a hair are, a hairstylist named Clay. If I were, I would live somewhere with popcorn ceiling. You guys okay, are my- acting like I didn't share a studio apartment with a mentally ill woman. Well, right it sounds up like you still. I met Dave. It sounds still like you still one. do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk I- about Dave that way. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> um. like. I no, I have no problem with Clay's apartment. I think he's, but I know where he's coming from. He grew up in a very nice, custom-built Studio City mansion, and now he lives in an apartment, and it's weird for him. I, I don't come from that, so like where he lives is very. Now nice you're to trying me. to now you're trying to the word is demonize me. I'm coming across. <laughs> this is like QAnon level, like the rich he grew up in, like the house, and the, I, I'm getting nervous the way you're describing it. I don't I don't like it. Demonize is Esther. Can we talk about built studio? I know city what mansion. is it a suit? I thought she would say custom built studio. Okay, Esther's like Caroline. workers of the world unite. Okay, so you know Esther and I love our blue light glasses, and I'm so excited about our sponsor today. I'm talking about Blender's Eyewear. They make all kinds of protective eyewear, and you're going to be as hooked as us when you see how awesome their selection is. I am so pumped. I got a pair of blue light glasses. They're like this really slick aviator style. They're called the High Class Jess. Um absolutely love the vibe just the name alone puts off they're very sturdy they protect my eyes they reduce my eye strain i wear them all day on my zooms i am obsessed so unlike expensive big brand shades you've probably lost or smashed in the past blenders are actually affordable so you're not going to be too upset when the inevitable happens i mean i lose glasses and sunglasses all the time and it's true these are at such an affordable price point the blue light glasses i got were 48 dollars, which is pretty good for such a high quality pair of glasses they've got a team of in-house designers that are constantly coming out with new styles and it's not just blue light glasses they've got a ton of sunglasses with insane polarization i love that look when it's like this cool gradient polarization that protects your eyes like if you're a surfer or a snowboarder like these are so good for people that are outside a lot you know they've got prescription glasses like i mentioned they have blue light glasses and readers and they have snow collection with like goggles and accessories i mean you know i don't ski but if you do this is a good place to check out to score 15% off your Blenders purchase, visit BlendersEyewear.com and enter promo code GLOWINGUPVIP. That's BlendersEyewear.com, code GLOWINGUPVIP for 15% off. Blenders, rocked with pride worldwide. This is kind of nerdy, but I am very excited about one of our sponsors today, and it's Canva Pro. Now, here's the thing. You guys know me. I love to design. I use all kinds of programs to make flyers, collages, invites. Like I love to make things that are visual. And ever since I discovered Canva Pro, I'm not even kidding. My game has been upped so hard. Canva Pro is an easy to use design platform that has everything you need to design like a pro. I'm serious. I designed the Fishwife investor deck in Canva. We make investor one sheets like I've made flyers like you can do almost anything in Canva. It's so much easier than other more expensive design platforms. I am the biggest Canva pro fan in the world. No matter what you're creating or sharing, they have everything you need in one place. They have a ton of photos, videos, audio, graphics. You can import fonts into Canva. You can remove backgrounds and make images you have transparent like it is truly a life saving tool that simplifies and speeds up the creative progress. I really do love the making images transparent. I am like addicted to removing the background from images and Canva Pro makes that so easy. It's like you press one button and it's done. Obsessed. There is no idea too big or too small. If you're a student, if you have a startup like me, if you're on a marketing team, you're a nonprofit, an entrepreneur, you're just a crafty mom. Truly, you can make almost anything graphic on Canva. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now you can get a free 45 day extended trial when you use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash glowing up to get your free 45 day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash glowing up. Canva.me slash glowing up. 
Caroline, something happened yesterday with me and Esther that we need to talk to you about. I know, I feel like we moved on from the photo shoot so fast. I just want to say you were serving cookie monstress realness. <laughs> very that. Very, very gaga. Like smurf, like parody porn. Very, yes. Oh, yeah. Very Avatar five sequels coming out. Esther was fired from them. But these are like <laughs> the audition tapes. Esther auditioning for Avatar four. <laughs> Esther gave up everything because she committed 12 years of her life to James Cameron to be in the Avatar 6 sequels and then he did cut her from the movie <laughs> and that's hard for all of us no, yeah. okay. Clayton who is going to tell the story that happened I'm going st- to start you. to tell it it's so, really big we did a great shoot yesterday Esther has I'm going to go ahead and say an all star team including me on hair uh, Melissa Hernandez, makeup artist who's iconic. She's one of my best friends. She does Dove Cameron, Sydney Sweeney, Lana Condor. She's an incredible makeup artist. And then Chris Haran, or Chris Haran rather, uh, styled her. So we're at my house and we're doing I glam. Mean, I love it's going this. great. It's like a YM shoot. Esther's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love she's this. not young and she's certainly not modern, but you know, we tried our best. <laughs> Just wait okay. till you see where this is going. You guys, okay. I've never had a great. story until Every- today. I know, and I'm telling it. Should you I'm tell glad. It? No, 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 okay. tell. So everything's going great, Caroline. We're having fun. We do the shoe. We're changing looks. Melissa's left because I'm just like, go. I got it covered. I was taking the pictures. And Melissa texts me. She goes, how's the shoot going? And I said, it's going great. And I sent a picture of Esther. And she replies back, oh, my God, slay, a serve. And then she sends a voice note. And we think, I I see the voice note after slay, serve. So I think it's going to be like a glowing, she looks amazing. So I'm with Esther. And I'm like, oh, she has a voice note. So I play it. And she goes, Clay, you know I love Esther so much. But between you and me, and this stays between us, don't say anything. (laughs) Wait. I immediately hit pause. <laughs> so we just sit in the silence of just like, we, did we, what happened, Esther? What did you feel in that moment? What did you feel? I felt so uncomfortable. Clay and I looked at each other. We were frozen in time, like didn't know what to do. We're just, and I, we're both just like, like Clay was like, holy, Clay, I feel like was really suffering because he's like, holy fuck, like this is my fault. Like what did I just do? And I'm like, it's okay. Like it's okay. You know, in it my was, head though, like I don't know how much time went by. I don't know if literally it was like an eight minute abs video or like three hours. Like time, it was, was a good, time was like, an oyster. It we don't it know was, what happened. You say oysters? it was a while. <laughs> yeah, time was an oyster. Yeah, wait, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening it, up until now. <laughs> um, so I'm just like in my head. I'm like getting really, honestly, really nervous. Like, what, is what she did about you to think? Say? What did very, you think she was? That was very stupid of her. Can I just say? So I no, just say what so, did you think she was? What did so you think I, she was gonna say? I was like, okay, you know what? Worst case, I, not worst case, but like, here's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping she just says like Esther had really bad breath, <laughs> and that's it. Like, right? Because then it's like, yeah, I had, I had bad breath. Who cares? I'm not. It's I'm sorry, but like, that's no reason to be upset at someone. Like, the it's odds that's that it fine. Would be like, your breath are are high. <laughs> no. You really are, can I just say, a beacon of bad breath positivity. You, that, has all, that should really be your issue. Since day one of glowing up, you are like single-handedly making women feel better about their halitosis and i i love yeah that. halitosis love that princess vibes for it's sure. not a it's like it's not a big deal like people act like it's the worst thing that could ever happen some people sometimes you have bad breath it's not a big deal it's human like sometimes people go poo poo like it's fine <laughs> no 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 poo poo no poo poo <laughs> So, so I'm just like, so okay, minutes I'm like, go by. Meanwhile, I'm gluing a wig to her head. There's literally like Fumes glue dripping, <laughs> dripping down her forehead. And oh we're God. both really tense. Like Clay, it was like kind of the first time. It was the most really, tense we had ten, tension. We were really tense between us. And finally, after like five minutes of him continuing working on the wig, we're both just like, just go in the fucking other room and listen to it. Like, this is killing me. Like, she just pushed the- me. She, Esther pushed me physically really hard. No, I did not. I felt lying. unsafe and I felt scared of my own popcorn home. I, I hate she when he does this. She has dancer shoulders. She's very strong. <laughs> I know, so, I know. So we just, he's like, you're right. Like, so we, we were like, just go in the other room. You're going to listen to it. And then you're going to come back. And like, you're just going to like softly tell me how bad I'll break, it is. I'll break the news to you. Yeah. Like, you don't have to tell me what it is. Just like. Go fucking, one of us needs to know what this says. Yeah. So he goes in the other room and like, 
you know, minute goes by, he comes back wow. out. And, and I'm like, like, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's nothing. So we, I go, it's literally like a memento. All the, everything goes backwards. We see all the reverse. And then I press play and it's her again just being like, Clay, don't say this. This is just between us. I love Esther, but between you and me, please don't share this with her. But her skin is, it's a little dehydrated. And I'm just worried how the makeup is looking on camera. Please let me know if it's sliding at all. I just... I think she needs to be a little bit more hydrated, and I, and I just want to make sure the pictures look good. That's Which Esther's, was Esther wears her dry skin as a badge of honor. But that's also not even a big deal. That's like that was not. We were so relieved because that's. I've nothing. never was, been more relieved in my life. I thought now, she was going to be I like. I mean, I feel let down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What were you, you rooting you, for? Yeah, Caroline? you wanted something bad and negative, huh? No, I was thinking it was going to be house related, like. Esther, Esther's house, like, I'm concerned for her. There's, like, all these packages and, like, sweatshirts everywhere. Like, I think that she has a mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I, cut that part out of it, but that wasn't there, too, at the <gasps> very end. It was like, and she's obviously sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> sick in the head. We, yeah. we immediately, I was just so relieved, and I, I We FaceTimed her. her immediately. I, I was like, was, I, I was like, bitch, tell me I have dry skin. Like, I need your help. And also, like, I know I have dry skin. It's so not a big deal. I was really relieved. It just, like, was a testament to what a sweet person she is. Like, she I thinks know. that's some big bad secret. Like, I was like, she's so nice. But it was that moment that was very high school that you don't get where it's like you almost catch someone. It's like, have you ever caught someone talking bad about you or walked into a room? It's like, it's a very horrible feeling no i'd rather never know it it's so bad me too i don't need to know if someone doesn't like me that's none of my business agreed none of my I'm business hashtag, hashtag I'm the person that gets caught talking badly i'm like you always, do <gasps> caroline yeah, this I weekend have a bad track record of this have you sent the wrong text to like do we talk about all oh, you have yeah yeah Fuck. i've done some pretty bad ones. oh that's the this worst this weekend we went out caroline and i went out to eat and oh, she was like this weekend blabbing so loud the service was really not great and she was just loudly like blabbing about it and every time she did the waitress would come up right behind, come up behind me she was like this little australian like ladybug and she would like tiptoe quietly out and be standing behind me and i'd be like and another thing there's three <laughs> people sitting here and they have the audacity and she's like ma'am like oh, she and she kept being like sorry i feel like i'm cutting you off sorry, oh like god cutting you off. Ew, I hate when people say I'm cutting you off. I, I hate that. Why? And she was like... Because I don't know. I cut people off when I don't say that. I don't know. <laughs> she was just like, I feel like I keep catching you in the middle of a great story. She was like Ew. really building up this whole thing. I got... The yeah. service was... It, it's such a... Like, not, again, like such a privileged complaint, but it's like... Well, we're also not used to sitting at like a restaurant. I'd have to be like, wait, I have to sit somewhere... And I'm not sitting on a couch to eat. I know. And like, and I'm I have cold. to wait. I'm cold. And I have to I'm, like look you in the eyes and tell you so what cold. I want. It's so It cold. was a moment <laughs> of like, what well, I did not miss this. But I like, I would, I just love, but you guys know me. Like I love eating alone on my couch on my floor. Like that's my, or either or, but with my space heater. Yeah. Like an episode of intervention. <laughs> and also you're not, and you're yeah, very that. And you're not, and you're not like, you're not drinking also because the most fun part about going out to like a restaurant is like drinking with friends right for me it is yeah really, for me Caroline? it is too you didn't drink at our dinner we drank an entire bottle of wine oh i forgot i thought that that was sparkling red soda <laughs> <laughs> i thought oh, that was Lord. a thought that was a fruitopia <laughs> <laughs> glomies we love cbd and we love ned okay CBD has become very popular and it's becoming more and more difficult to navigate and choose the right company and the right product. And that's where Ned comes in, okay? Ned uses gentle, slow extraction using only the hemp flowers known as buds. It's cold extraction. It's not negative 40 degrees using food grade organic ethanol. They have full transparency. They share third-party lab reports. They are they are full spectrum hemp only and only contain two ingredients, okay? Full spectrum hemp extract and non-GMO organic MCT oil. And that 
That's their hemp oil. And they also have a body butter, lip balm, and a natural cycles line. And CBD, you guys know, can be used as a sleep aid, anti-inflammatory, natural pain reliever, treat anxiety and PTSD and depression. There's so many wonderful benefits of CBD. And Ned has really made it easy to choose a brand that you can trust. And for our listeners, we are offering 15% off your first purchase or 20% off your first membership purchase. And if you want to check out Ned and try their CBD for yourself, we have a special offer for the Glowing Up audience. Go to helloned.com slash glowing up or enter code glowing up at checkout for 15% off your first one-time order at 20% off your subscription, I'm sorry, or 20% off your subscription order, plus free shipping. That's H-E-L-L-O-N-E-D.com slash glowing up to get 15% off your first one-time order or 20% off your first subscription order plus free shipping. Thank you to Ned. We love you for making products. We trust their full spectrum hemp oil, their hemp infused body butter, their hemp infused lip balm. These are products that are so clean and trustworthy and transparent. We really, really appreciate that Ned has made it so easy to pick a brand. Oh God, the ad campaigns for Fruitopia, honestly, were the, are, I feel like you're in front of a poster for it. I know. I, I'm i not, but this background, I think this is really important to share with the audience. I went through a phase recently where I started thinking about the art on Celestial Seasonings boxes. Are you guys familiar with Celestial Yes. The tea? Is it? Yeah, the tea, yeah. Most beautiful art in mm-hmm. the world. Each, in each, it's like a fantastical wonderland of like, lively bears in a jamboree or like a big Mm. hot air balloon with like a lemon as the balloon like it's just this wonderful mystery like acid trip of a world and i found out that all the artists that do celestial seasonings art you can buy prints from their websites they're really proud they do art for celestial seasonings like it's this whole yeah as they should be and i'm like this is my favorite genre of art tea box art so i went down this i would say a deep dark path where i like I was just I was deep in the celestial seasonings. I need to we need to get What about NFTs? NFTs? Yeah, <laughs> NFTs. I mean, you had NFT. me at NFT. You had me at lemon balloon. There's something about that that it's just like that is that is pure hearted. Tension tamer with like a dragon sipping a cup of tea. Big oh, apples that's so... rolling down a hill. It's just magical. I this feel like from one of the artists. It's I feel like stunning. I feel like you and I do have similar um I don't know, like aesthetics when it comes to just like positive animals mm. doing fun things. Big fruits doing wacky things. Yeah. Is that why you both like me? <laughs> yes. You are a lemon balloon. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You know, I'll I'll share some of the art. I'll put some on the glowing up. Instagram. Yeah, I'm so yeah. into it. I would wear like a print like that, sh- that on like a silk shirt button up. Well, I immediately Ooh. started emailing with some of the artists and I like... I so swiftly regretted it because they were like yeah. sad men who were like alone in their house in New Hampshire who were like so happy to hear from a fan. They're like, I looked you up, Caroline, and I have to say, like, I'm very impressed with all the things. And I was like, block email, delete Gmail. <laughs> you didn't away. want validation from him? I would have loved I on a- if I were in your shoes, I feel like I'd still be talking to them and sadly in a po- like on a podcast with them right now if I had gone down that path. I... Oh, God. Well, it it all goes back to sleepy time tea, I have to say. Mm-hmm. This, the image on the celestial seasonings sleepy time tea is... Is it bears going to bed? It's a bear in a very big, comfy chair. And he's okay. in this very cozy cottage. And there's a roaring fireplace. And there's toys on the floor. There's, like, there's uh, signs of bear life. Like, there's a bear family, but you don't see the rest of the bear family. But he's very cozy. I'm going to show you guys the artist that did reach out to me. This is so worth it. I'm going to share my screen. I We don't usually do this on the pod, but... I have never visual. had a screen shared with me. I'm excited. Okay, so the first artist I found was this guy. Can you see my screen? Oh, you tweeted about this. Look, I'm sorry I'm recycling content. Oh, so wait. That Wait. The thing that no, you painted I'm just is excited. so, so magical. Art. This animal jamboree. I love this image. I love, love this image. This image. It's a raccoon. Are you kidding? Lemons, it's the raccoon. Like, it's the raccoon. It's the raccoon for me. The raccoon has the everyone. I love each and every single one of them. I know. So I for people who are listening, lemon ginger. 
Esther, does your brain Check. not work the way ours does? Do you do you not get like crazy serotonin looking this at this? I love it. I listen to me. I love it too. I for people. So if you want to see what we're looking at, you can watch this on YouTube if you're just listening. But um, yeah, it's a very beautiful, bright scene of animals playing music by a lemon tree. Am I missing anything? No, I'm You're kidding. describing it horribly. You've <laughs> taken so away hard. all the whimsy, all the fun. Caroline, do do your best to describe it a little bit better, please. Imagine a beautiful summer's day in like <laughs> Celestia, like Magicanus. Yeah. In a comp- it's beautiful. There's big bushy lemon trees and there's a, what's this? We've happened upon a jamming animal band. Yes. And who makes up the band? First, of course, you've got a little bunny playing tiny lemons like Mariah. Yes. She's got, a girl. That's the girl of the group. She might girl. be singing too. She's she might spicy. be singing. Her name yeah, is she might. Fern. Yeah. And then you've got a cool fox, and he's got a rude toot, and he's wearing sunglasses and playing a saxophone. The saxophone may or may not, not be blind. <laughs> yeah, he might be blind. <laughs> he may or may not be blind. He's giving me Bill Clinton meets Robin Hood. Yes. I mean, he's sexy. Yeah. I'll say it. Yeah. I'll say it. He's he's like tooting on the sax, and then of and course, then the connection, the connection. Yeah, but the connection between the bear and the raccoon, the way that they're looking at each other, that is what really draws me in is like they are jamming. I don't know if you've ever been in a jam band. <laughs> I have. I actually have. But when you get into that locked in vibe and you're with your partner, the way that this bear and this raccoon are playing together, it is something to behold. Caroline, I am so fucking on board with this. I'm I get you. it. I'm telling you, the Celestial Seasons art, you guys have to get into this. It is, I'm like, Da Vinci who? Renoir what? Matisse, I don't give a fuck. This yeah. is where it's at. And I just want to point out that the bear does have his tongue sticking out. He might have a, he's differently abled, I think. <laughs> no, that's, I thought that was just a white patch. Or is that the tongue? I'm not sure. Oh, he's fucking he's noodling. That, he's I literally, no, he's, oh my God. I can't, I'm still, so we got to put it away. Funny. I'm too distracted. This is by Jerry Lofar. Jerry Lofar. This is the man oh. who emailed me back. I just want you guys to see his setup. Is this the guy who's proud of you? Okay, so He's Jerry proud. loves, Jerry does love dinosaurs. He's wearing a raptor shirt. He's at yes. sort of a, a double four wide computer monitors. screen. Yeah, four monitors. Covered There's lots, lots of di- toy dinosaurs. And, and also, if you look, look at the Kleenex. Wait, you have to look at the Kleenex in the... What's next to the Kleenex? I, I saw. I don't want to. There's Kleenex roast. and lotion next to that too. Basil spray. We and can't make fun of. And we can't. That's the glue that we use to I glue Esther's wig down. Is He's next to friend. it too. He's my friend. Um, I'll quickly go through a couple more of the artists because I think we're on a roll here. There's this woman who's a very sexy angel named Lori Anzalone. She's beautiful. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, but she's she- actually stunning. She's stunning. And she, you'll recognize her work. Um, you might recognize this from the Bengal Spice, Celestial Season Lock. But more importantly, she's also best known for her work on the soft soap bottle. If you guys are familiar oh, with this. Am of I? Course. Of course we are. There, yeah. little corporate Childhood. And then, of course, um, this this to me is like as whimsical as it gets. It's oh, some this kind one's of fun. berry flavor and it's these more bears going down a roaring rapid river they're in little buckets of berries it's it's adorable anyway we'll leave it there I love well i'm gonna be all, I, i'm gonna be brutally honest please all of the other ones adorable nothing tickled me nothing touched me the way the first one did the first one i have such a connection I to i know it 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 hits something so deep within me it and esther me actively hated it therapy session I'm like, all my childhood trauma goes away when I look at that image. For a brief moment in time, I'm going clear. Esther, why? To explain to us why it is that you don't have a soul and why you didn't like it. I'm not as visually, like, artistically uh, hungry as you both. Like, it's actually something about you guys that I'm envious of. You both have, like, a very artistic eye. Caroline, for sure, like, has always been the 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 design like brains and then clay now that you're in my life like you have such a like artistic visual eye as well this is like sociopath Um, behavior what esther this is just like explain esther's narrative that you set up for yourself tell me that enables you to keep using us for our design eye 
Esther, you have it in you. No, I, I have not, it in I, ways. No, I, I want to infantilize Esther. If I could chop off her legs and arms and I could just do her hair, I would. I love that she lets me do whatever I want. She's my little muse. She's daddy's little princess. She's my Jean Benet. I love doing art with her. Okay. I look, I love that. I, I love when someone is good at something and they just do their thing. Like when I whenever someone does my makeup, my new rule, it's like when they ask me what to, I'm like, you do whatever the fuck you want. You're an artist. Like I, whatever notes I give you is never going to make anything as good as what you would do if you're just free and fun. And I'm learning and dipping my toe with the tie dye business, like of learning like what, what colors I like go, that go together and like designs and stuff. But ultimately I, that's not like my natural thing, the way it is for you. I mean, Caroline, like you're a design aesthetic. Like I feel like you've invented like a yeah, genre you did. of, you did, of collages and shit. Like, and you've designed, merch for years like that's a literal skill you have and clay has it too it's like don't fucking call me a sociopath bitch i know i i'm i feel guilt i shouldn't <laughs> i think we that should i think cool. that we should apologize honestly esther i want you to know something i'm really sorry that that was that wasn't cool what i did and i'm sorry about it esther like i just <laughs> like you're right up when you mean so much to me and like I would never, ever intentionally hurt you. Like, you're everything to me. And, like, <laughs> it's like sometimes I'm... I just get in my head and I just get so stupid. And stupid. I just I say the wrong it's stuff. Stupid. I just say the wrong things, Esther. Please forgive me. You gotta forgive me. Maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay but caroline okay es- esther is right you really did honestly like no you d- no Rece- yes. look at me and receive you really did spearhead an aesthetic sort of movement and just i need you to receive that and accept that esther the fact that you let like makeup and hair do their thing from someone who works behind yeah. the other side of the chair when someone lets me do my own thing, I do so much better work than when they're like, are you going to, what about this piece? Are you going to, what, what are you thinking? Are you, are you sure? Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. let them do their thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess I am amazing after all. And that's <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> no, okay, that's that guys, that. we have some news in the world of Krispy Kreme donuts and I want to be the one to break it. Unless okay. So from Monday, March 22nd until the end of the year, you can get a free, this sounds like an ad. It's not, but this is huge news. Krispy Kreme is giving away for a free glazed donut to anyone who shows up showing their vaccination card. Oh, and it's, work. Yes, wow. bitch. And I'm, you know, my brain goes instantly to the Burbank Krispy Kreme with the drive through that's open late at night. And, and this is the this same is, plaza as an Ulta. Sorry. Yes, you're. Oh my God! Let's all right. go. Let's, Let's all go. Let's do it. Let's do it. And it is near an airport. We can get our and Krispy Kreme and then fly. And near a Walmart, we could get. Oh. Wait, we'll is, get- where does Drew Barrymore sell her stuff? Walmart or Kmart? Walmart. Walmart. You gotta take me to Walmart. You gotta take me to Walmart. And the pioneer. Do you guys know who the pioneer woman is? I do. I do. No. She has this li- she's this like, uh, food rural food blogger with a very whimsical, dare I say, aesthetic, and she has a line of stuff for Walmart that's so like it's like. It's like rainbow crock pots with like flowers on them. It's so cute. What's it called? The Pioneer, Pioneer Woman. Woman. Does she have a show on the Food Network? Does yeah, she? Yeah, she's a she's, yeah. she's got an empire. But sorry, back to Krispy Kreme. Well, well this all just no, sounds like back, a great day. Back to Walmart. I'm glad you guys brought up Walmart because, dude, fucking Caroline and I are on top of all of Drew Barrymore's launches. We have her blue light glasses. We have her makeup flower beauty. But now there's Drew Barrymore kitchenware, and it is all in this like beautiful sage color and they have like a coffee pot or what's a coffee maker uh air fryer they have all this cool ass kitchen shit what are we buying at all like what 1, are we doing thousand percent drew barrymore stuff i'll oftentimes be in like so a client's house and i'm like this is really beautiful where is this from and they'll be like don't tell anyone but it's from the drew barrymore collection are you and serious? i'm like well i will tell everyone on a podcast <laughs> drew barrymore like we've talked about this before she is silently slaying every everything every medium she goes into her Mm -hmm. she's unstoppable her talents no no bounds and do you want to know for season two it is well it was like famously panned and not i love no oh i love the talk show i completely really i watch the talk show on youtube all the time the talk show is fire okay i'll get into and let me say this you know why drew barrymore succeeds at everything she does she's 
because she does it with love and yep. passion. She doesn't do it, it unless it's sparking joy. And that's how like any of us are. That's Esther's sweatsuits are doing so well because she's and coming. And Caroline's fishwife. All of us, all of our stuff is coming because like succeeding because it's coming from a place of like, I actually love this. What just happened? Something fell. I'm so glad that we got to touch base this week. I'm sorry it was a quick one, but we will be back next week. Oh, it week. doesn't have to be a quick one, Esther. Come on. Stay a while. Uh, we, we got our dicks wet a little bit. Yeah. Dip the, dip the old beak in the <laughs> beak in the well. Esther. Gross. Clay, it was great to see you guys. Great catch up. Esther is going to go to Skokie, though, and there is going to be a special Skokie episode where we get to hear all about what's going on there. And that I cannot wait for next Let's week. Let's do a home tour. Let's do a home tour. We'll we'll get into it. Um, until then, you guys, is Fishwife? Do we do, are we all sold out? Pre-order, yeah, we sold out a tuna, but you can pre-order now and watch this space, folks, because mm. there's a big product announcement coming soon that is gonna blow your domes off. I cannot wait. And Caroline, you looked so cute in the '90s Taco Bell drop oh from Sleepover. Oh my god, you look hot. Broke the internet. You looked Esther, so hot. You I'm jealous. To, you know how to dress my body. I mean. I, I didn't realize that you just know how to set me up for success, my womanly curves. Thank you. Wait, and Comfy. Caroline, Caroline, Comfy. your hair, your I hair, know. Caroline, is so, both of you guys have so much hair privilege. You guys both have the most beautiful hair. You it's guys, I I feel confident in my ability to create a comfy yet accidentally sexy lounge collection. Um, there's still a few pieces left for pre-order from the Taco Bell collection at sleepoverbaster.com. I've never so beautiful as I have in your sweats and comfortable at the same time oh my god yes my chucha is like singing <laughs> she's hitting the high notes in that thing. <laughs> your chucha i i a, I don't. a, a, a chucha <laughs> <laughs> oh lord um my, you my guys we love it. you we love you guys make, make sure oh. you're following clayton hawkins on instagram he's new to the fam welcome him give him it some was love. it was so fun doing these three episodes i don't know if i'm gonna come back after this one it didn't really go the way i really wanted it to oh but... shut your mouth we Ow, love you guys next week we're welcoming on clay's popcorn ceilings <laughs> yeah <laughs> look up <laughs> okay love you guys. Guys. Bye, guys bye bye